What we're going to do in this video is begin to practice subtracting decimals. And we're going to build up slowly, and in future videos, we're going to learn to do this faster and faster, and doing it for more and more complex situations. So let's say we have 3 tenths minus 2 tenths. What is this going to be? Well, there's a bunch of ways you could tackle it, and I encourage you to pause the video and try to do it on your own before I, I work through it with you. But I'm assuming you, you did that, so let's do it together. So you could view this as 3 tenths, and then we're going to take away 2 tenths. So if I have 3 of something and I take away 2 of them, well, what am I going to be left with? Well, I'm going to be left with 1, I'm going to be left with 1 tenth. And we can visualize this. Let me put a hole there. And this hole is divided into tenths, and we see that three of the tenths are already highlighted. So these three green bars you can visualize as three tenths. Now we want to take away two tenths. So we want to take away, we're going to take away one tenth, and then we take away two tenths. And so what are we left with? Well, we're going to be left with this one tenth right over here. That's the only tenth that is left of these three tenths. So now let's build on that idea and try to tackle more complex situations. So let me deal, let me delete this and this. And let's say we want to tackle 1.5 or 1 and 5 tenths. And from that, we want to subtract 0.7 or 7 tenths. Pause the video and see if you can figure this out. So there's a couple of ways you could think about this. And I'll tell you the way that I do it in my head. You could view this as, so let me re rewrite this. You could view this as 1 plus 5 tenths minus 7 tenths minus, let me do that same blue color, minus 7 tenths. And so there's a couple of ways that you could view it. You could view this as 10 tenths. One whole is 10 tenths. So this is 10 tenths plus 5 tenths minus 7 tenths minus 7 tenths. And so you could say this is 15 tenths. If you're doing it in your head, you might get to this faster. You might say, hey, 1.5, 1 in 5, 5 tenths is the same thing as 15 tenths minus 7 tenths minus 7 tenths. So 15 of something minus 7 of it, well 15 minus 7 is going to be 8. So this is going to be equal to 8 tenths. So the way I just did, I just thought of everything in terms of tenths. Instead of thinking of it 1 and 5 tenths, you could view this as if you could somehow put a 15 in the tenths place and instead call this 0 1s and 15 tenths, and then you subtract 7 tenths from those 15 tenths to get the 8 tenths, which would be 0 0.8 or 8 tenths. Now, another way that you could have thought about it, let's go back to this step right over here. I could have said, well, look, I can think about what 1 minus 7 tenths is going to be. So I could use this as 1 minus 7 tenths, and then I'm going to add 5 tenths to that. So then I'm going to add 5 tenths to that. So 1 minus 7 tenths. 1 is 10 tenths. So if I take 7 of them away, I'm going to be left with 3 tenths. So you can say that's going to be 3 tenths plus 5 tenths plus 5 tenths, which is, once again, it is equal to 8 tenths. Now another way that you could tackle this, and once again, I'm showing as many ways as possible, just so you appreciate that these are just different ways of tackling the same idea. Let's draw a number line here. So let's say, so let's say this is zero, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is one, one, two, three, four, five. That is 1.5. So we're going to start at 1.5 right over here. So that's 1.5. And we're going to take away 7 tenths. So one way that you might do it is you say, okay, let's we could take away, we could take away 5 tenths, which is going to take us to 1. And then we have to take 2 more tenths away, which is going to take us to 8 tenths, or 0 0.8. 
So the way that I just thought about it just now is I said, hey, this is the same thing as 1.5 minus 5 tenths minus 5 tenths minus 2 tenths. The reason why I broke it up like this is like, okay, 1.5 or 1 and 5 tenths minus 5 tenths, that's pretty straightforward to compute. You could say that right over there is just going to be 1. I'm taking away the 5 tenths. And then I have 2 tenths left over to take away. So 1 minus these 2 tenths. And once again, you are left with 8 tenths. So these are all perfectly legitimate ways to tackle this problem. And this is a way that many people, including myself, would try to do it in their head. 